Luis Perez has bowled 12 perfect games what? in his life. And he spent his entire teenage life traveling the West Coast, competing in youth tournaments. Luis Perez was one of the best youth bowlers in the entire country. I was getting ready to compete nationally in bowling. Then after the last game, my senior year of high school, I saw my buddies running through the tunnel and you know, I got the chills, like, why am I here? I need to be down there playing the game. I went to YouTube and I started YouTubing how to play quarterback. So little by little, I just kept improving, kept learning the game. Um, again, I didn't know much about fronts, coverages. I just knew I could throw a spiral. That's about it. A little known player out of Texas A&M Commerce named Luis Perez. Now he was the Harlan Hill Trophy winner as Division II's best college football player with over 70 touchdowns in his career. After uh, playing Division II and winning a national title, I signed as an undrafted free agent uh, to the Rams. My rookie year going there, going from a Division II playbook, going to an NFL playbook, and, and with, with what Sean McVay does with his offense, is very complex, and Coach Zach Taylor spent hours and hours off of his time just to help me. Couldn't really be more impressed with the person. A couple times he, he kind of pissed me off because he beat me into the office. He's already in there studying tape. I'm like, what the heck you doing in here already, man? But uh, it really impressive. After that, played in the AAF, played with Birmingham Iron. Uh, after that, I got signed with Philadelphia, with the Eagles. Then got signed by Detroit. After that, got signed to the XFL to the LA Wildcats. Then I got traded to the New York Guardians where I met Coach Gilbride. And he was really the catalyst that turned us around. He got the guys to rally around him, to play better than they had played, and they did that really in response to his leadership. He came in there, his leadership was palpable. I expect him to get better every single week now that he's getting more and more reps in this Kevin Gilbride system. In bowling, you know, I know he's rolled a couple of perfect games and everything else, so I mean, he's just a winner. Everything about him is whatever I have to do to put my team in the position where we got a chance to win and be successful, he's gonna do that. So there's actually a lot of similarities in bowling and, and football. The biggest thing is being able to, to move on, right? You throw a split in a frame, you have to learn to move on and go to the next play. Same thing applies when you throw an interception. It's going to happen, but you got to learn how to move on from your mistakes and keep going. Perez fires downfield, and he's got a completion and a big one. Luis Perez not only got him in the end zone, he got him a win. I'm excited to play football. I love the game. This is a great opportunity, and I'm just very thankful I'm here in this position. Uh, I can bowl when I'm 50 years old. You know, you have such a small window. Uh, to play football, you know, physically, so I need to go after my dreams.